How about them boys? Let's go, Cowboys. Let's talk about boys. We here. Let that beat run out just a little bit for y'all. Chef Boy V, no. other Project Pat, Seltzer Sunday. We're it's back time. here. Um, Chef Boy V and everybody. Today's episode is Everything Rhymes with Orange. Aren't you glad we're doing this episode for you? I sure am, other <laughs> Project Pat. Okay, we opened the Seltzer Fridge of Destiny. <laughs> as we, uh, you know, clean out 23 and get into 24. Mm -hmm. We're recap a lot of our favorites and maybe not favorites. But today's all about the orange. Today we have... The truly citrus sparkler. Okay. All right. Wild Basin Boozy. Chef wild Basin. Favorite. Mm. I love Wild Basin. Passion Orange Guava. Mm. Uh, Buena Vida Mandarin. Buena Vida. And the White Claw Tangerine. All a little bit of derivative of the orange, mm -hmm. but mostly citrus. And you'll show, you will sure be glad that we did this. Stay tuned. All right. Flavor one here on Everything is Orange or Rhymes with Orange here at Seltzer Sunday. Ha! Chef Boy via the Project Pat. I hope you had a great weekend so far, and hope you're enjoying a seltzer while you watch this. And let's go, Cowboys! And I hope you're enjoying some bowl season, some delicious and uh, bowl season picks from Patty Betts. Uh, mm -hmm. We'll not start, but we're going to make it up. All right. Says every person that likes to bet on sports. Indeed. <laughs> now, in the past, other Project Pat, we gave this truly orange version, the citrus one, a 6.1. We felt it was, uh, what, some, like, more of a... Orange creamsicle. Orange creamsicle. It didn't quite taste like the Flintstone vitamin that uh, we, we usually talk about when we think about an orange flavored seltzer. Mm -hmm. So pour it up a little bit of sample. Um, it is clear, a little bubbly. Oh, yes. A little bubbly. Like a little bit better. Yep. Yeah. So overall, cold is key. We always preach that. Uh, taste wise, big improvement. Six, mm -hmm. seven. Six, seven on the taste, he says. Now, I'm still getting a little bit of that creamsicle in the aftertaste, mm -hmm. which it's not bad, but I don't know. There's something about it I'm not really enjoying. Yeah. I think I'm going to give it a 5.8 on the uh, aftertaste of the Project Pat. And that's okay. Um, not one other note we discussed behind the scenes. Maybe you'll check this out in some of the stories. Maybe a little post coming out. When it's colder, Chef Boyerby and everybody, that Flintstone vitamin actually kind of creeps back in. Unfortunately, um, it's light, but that taste, that aftertaste, is really going to drag us down on how many you want. I think it's better than we expected, so I'm going to be generous with a seven. Okay. So six, seven, five, eight, seven, zero, oh. six, five. Other project, Pat. Okay, an improvement Four from last time. Improvement. I think that's like six and a half percent. Not bad. Um, I wouldn't put it in your cooler yet. Um, Still doesn't pass the test, unfortunately. But we have more orange to show you, so. Tune in for the next couple three. Let's go. Cool. It is time. It is time. All right, second flavor here. Chef Boy V, other Project Pat. Mm. Alfred here down here, helping us out, protecting the realm, keeper of the stoop. Keeper of the stoop. That's right. Okay, and keeper of this Wild Basin Passion Orange Guava. Eee, wild uh, Basin, baby. Been a favorite uh, for a lot of y'all. If you watch early on, they used to just have like a sparkling water, Chef Boy V, mm -hmm. if you remember. That was amazing. Um, it wasn't as carbonated. We really enjoyed that. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe need to do some research and see if they still have it out there. If somehow, then we'll get them in contact with you. Yeah, because I believe we gave this one a 5.7, which uh, definitely doesn't pass the test, but maybe it's had time to chill because cold is key. That's right. Okay. Okay, I say. Mm. Not as carbonated as the others. No, um, no, 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 no. This tastes better than, better than last time. Mm -hmm. um, I think it was maybe a little generous on the first flavor, but just a little excited about the show mm -hmm. anyways. Um, let me go with a 6.9. 6.9. I, like, I do like the mixture of it. Um, there's no vitamin flavor. There's no creamsicle. It's a pretty good mix of uh, orange and guava. Mm -hmm. Aftertaste, it's, I think it's a little bit better than the Truly. Uh, still kind of lingering, which is not something you want. I'm going to go with a 6.1. Okay, that brings us to the quantity, ladies and gentlemen. The quantity. Um, Aftertaste again, it might just bring you bring you down. It might be filling. Fill um, factor. That's Ooh. right. Uh, guava. If you ever had guava juice, it does get a little filling. There's not many out there, but y'all know what it is. That dull guava juice. Anyways, uh, 
just a solid six. I think it's just gonna get filling. Okay. We are enjoying it, but it's not it's not ready to be enjoyed at mm -mm. full full force. Six point three. Okay. Um, but last time it was five seven, right, Chef Barbie? That's right. All right. Uh, another improvement. Uh, I don't. I think it's. I think this is probably the cap for it. Yep. Yep. Ten percent so, improvement. I ain't that's mad at it. That, yeah. um, pretty good from anything you know, graduating from the fives and sixes. Uh, huzzah! Almost there. Um, Almost there. That's right. Next one. Next one. Let's go. All right, other project, Pat. It's time to do jokes. So once again, the fans have sent us some jokes for us to read, and well. It's our job to determine if they are weak or neat. All right, so let's get on with the first one. First one is from Bruno from Grand Junction, Colorado. All right. Dude, what in the Western West, is that, Western, dude? West, oh, West, the man. Western Slope, baby. I've been down up at Grand Junction since uh, the goal. Right, anyways, all right. So, dear Seltzer Boys, I've been jogging for the past few months, and I set a personal record for a five-mile run. Three miles. Oh, nice, Bruno. <laughs> Creative! Yeah. I like it! What do you think? Neat? I think it's pretty neat. Pretty neat. All right. We got one neat. All right. This next one is from Tony from Round Rock, Texas. Okay. All right. Round Rock. Look, boy. Dear Seltzer Boys, what do you call a man with no arms or no legs stuffed in a mailbox? Bill. <laughs> oh. Because it's a bill. Uh, I get it. I get it, Tony. What do we think of the project, Pat? I think it's a little weak, Tony. All, All right. right. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, Tony from Round Rock. A little weak. So we got one weak, one neat. All right. Got time for one more? One more. One more. All right. This one is from Lars from St. Paul, Minnesota. Lars. Oh, Minnesota. Man. Dear Seltzer Boys, my penis was in the Guinness Book of World Records. Then the librarian asked for me to take it out. <laughs> oh, oh, God. <laughs> I like that. That's pretty neat, Lars. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Well, I think that's all the jokes we have for today. So thanks for tuning in. Please continue to send us your jokes for us to read, and we'll determine if they are weak or neat. Let's continue. All right. We're back here. Had a good session. Uh, uh, probably a world record setting joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, this is the Live Buena uh, by Buena Vida. Um, they have an actual brewery out in San Diego. Wow, we uh, so this are. is their step in the direction of the world of seltzer. The Mandarin. Why not? Because you have all the equipment already, so try to... Mm -hmm. I would, too. Okay. Um, in a glass bottle. You must pop it off. Yes, so compliments on that. Um, not recycle-friendly, but hey, we're not, we don't care about the carbon world here. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Oh. All right. The fuck? We were real nice this last time, Chef Barbie. I don't know why. This we gave it a seven. January eighth last year, or this year. Sorry. Ew. Um. Well, maybe it's the new year. New that's, US. I don't know. That's some vi this vinegary. I I said in our notes last time, ladies and gentlemen, that this didn't taste like Flintstone vitamins, but in fact it does. It tastes like you just dipped it in apple cider vinegar, or worse, Gross. and then you chewed it. Um. Not good. Mm -hmm. Or two. 4-2 overall. Overall. We're not even going to uh, uh -uh. waste your time and your eyesight on, on, on the rest of the ratings and, and the system. So, 4-2. Mm -hmm. That's it. But we got one more. We're going with the White Claw. So, let's see how it goes. <laughs> Great Bambino! All right. Here we are. Uh, fourth and final flavor. This is the White Claw Tangerine here on like Selfie no. Sunday. Everything orange. Everything rhymes with orange. You all know that. Mm -hmm. um, and silver, too. Okay, the Tangerine by White Claw. White Claw, big two, White Claw truly, y'all know. Um, should be pretty predictable. Yep. Uh, White Claw's uh, usually pretty decent. Yep. Now, orange, though, still not a decent mm, flavor, but... It's hard to We are do. just the people. We're just the duo. We're just the tag team to tag y'all out from buying these. Me pers buying yeah, me personally, I think the brand that has done the best soda, or, I mean, best orange... Is Bud Light with their orange soda? Yep, that tastes just like Fanta, ladies and gentlemen. Bud Light, check it out. Hard soda, amazing. Eh, eh, eh. it's all right. Me. I'm not having anything wrong with it. Um, no. Six six. I I, I mm -hmm. still think the truly and, and surprisingly the uh, Wild Basin are the better tasting flavors. And how? Yep. This taste though. 
Yep, and aftertaste, I think it's a 6-6 six, six as well. It's okay. just nothing too special, nothing too bad about it either, but yep. still not a passing grade. Quantity. Um, I don't know if I'm just full or it's just a filling flavor too, but 6-4. Six, 6-4. Four. Six, four. All right, so that's going to give us... A 6.5 of the Project Pat overall. Okay. Um, not bad, but uh, just not going to make it. Mm. This, this has been a filling tasting event. Yep. Um, yeah, need to wash it off with uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, uh, this tasty white cloth strawberry. Not, not, not a bad one either. Mm -hmm. I should have been cleansing my palate with this one the whole time. Yep. And you know what, other Project Pat, that's going to leave us or lead us into our next part. It's that time, ladies and gentlemen. It is outro time! Peace out. All right. Aren't you glad we did this episode, Chef Barbie? Sure am, Mother Project Pat. I hope you all are, too. I hope you're having a great self Sunday. Let's go, Cowboys. All right. And I hope you all had a great weekend watching college football, too. All levels of, uh, of skill from D3 to D1. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of good games out there. I hope you're following Patty Betts. Um, you know, pretty decent. I think you compare me to some of the other people. On the platforms, the big Barcelona ones. I think Patty Betts is up there with them. Mm -hmm. But that's not what this show's about. This is the, we're wrapping this up. Uh, kind of big winner today. Uh, we say big winner lightly. Uh, the, the big two, but truly in the white claw. Um, just orange, had a 6 5, though. Orange, yeah, just, it's hard to really tell for us. It's hard hit. for us to tell you to put an orange in your cooler. But aren't you, aren't you glad we're doing this episode for you? And just think if they had a banana flavor. Mm. That'd be real bad. Mm. And now it's that part of the show. Once again, we are going to do a little game. So other Project Pat and myself, we have made a combination. For those of you who are just tuning in, actually, we made a combination of all four flavors. We put into this one cup that we like to call the Suicide Seltzer. So to determine who's going to take this drink, we're going to play a little game of rock, paper, scissors. We're going to go one, two, three, and shoot. Then the loser then has to take the Suicide Seltzer. So without further ado, let's do the thing. One, two, three, shoot! One, two, three, shoot! Oh, man! Oh. <laughs> Power me up on the speaker box, my man. Speaker box! Yeah, speaker box! Speaker box! Yeah, boy! Tell the jewel! Oh. That's right, you heard it here first, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Again. Other Project Pat, Chef Boy V. Today was all about the things orange. Orange rises anything. How was it? So gross. Ah, what do you always like to say? Good afternoon, good evening, and good night. That's all we have. We'll see you next time. Oh, my tummy hurts. Uh. Goodbye. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.